Hey everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite, Men and Neil. Um, we're not going to be doing um, tarot, at, uh, well, not in this video. Um, I should put that card away because that's not for you. Um, so we're going to have a chat about Libra, okay? Um, Libra. Some of you are going through a difficult time at the moment. Some, not all, okay? Um, you're dealing with um, with uh, people's energies that it's just very, very complicated. And um, Libra, you, you need to take a break, okay? The, you need to take a break and just focus on yourself for a little while because you need to rebuild your energy again. You need to calm your mind and um and just just go out and try and have a good time and and a bit of laughter and just relax okay and if you have a really good friend that you can you know speak to then go ahead and, and speak to that person but i feel that you are going through a lot at at the moment for some of you um for others you're just focusing on your work and focusing on your family and focusing on um um, you know, just moving along and, and that, you know, there's nothing exciting happening here, okay? <laughs> so for some some Librans that are in a uh, relationship, okay, um, Libra, you know, Libra, the, the problem with Libra in a relationship is that, um, you know, that this... They're sweet. Librans are, are so sweet and they're so um, giving and they're so, um, you know, a little bit naive, I'm going to say, okay? Um, even though that you are a very intelligent um, Libra, you know, you, you've studied well, you've all had probably, you know, good jobs and, and if you haven't, then life has taught you um, a lot, okay? And um, the thing is, Libra, that um, um, you cling on to on to people sometimes. I'm I'm talking to a younger um, Librans at the moment. Is that you know you you're very friendly. You make friends very quickly. You're so funny, you know, and you you're very um, likable. Okay. As you start to get older, Libra, your patients start to wear very, very, very thin, okay? Um, as you get older, Libra, from a young age to, to say, in your 20s or 30s, um, you're very giving to your partner and you're very um, loving and you, you'll do anything for that person. And if you're truly, truly, truly in love with that person, then you want to you want to have a child with that person. You want to... You want to have a family with that person. And then as you get into your 40s, Libra, you start to become bored with that person. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, that you know, there's there's a change in you where um, you've got a, um, a list of 100 things to do before um, your partner gets out of bed. And the list is not for you, it's for them. Okay. And... Um, and as much as your partner wants to do things for you, they're going to get sick and tired of that list one day, okay? So um, if the list comes with conditions, and I mean conditions like you've handed over this list, I, I need that done, love. I need that done, honey. Um, you know, this needs to be done, love. This needs, Let's go here. Let's go to Bunnings. Let's go wherever and and get this done and I want to go away and I want to have a nice hotel room and I need to be by a pool and there's so much needs that that you need Libra okay and that turns your partner off doesn't it you know so your partner as a you know will will go off and seek attention from somebody else okay because as much as you come across as giving, all right, you you stop your partner from giving to you. You you do that, because your partner in the beginning will give you the world, 
they'll buy you the best of everything they'll take you to the best of places they'll they'll keep give you the nicest home they you know they they're very giving to you libra you know but for some reason um as much as you appreciate what they do for you um you've stopped you stopped in certain areas in your life. You've stopped the bedroom situation. You, you know, it's not enough that you call somebody love and dull and honey. Okay, that that's not enough. Okay, sweetness starts to disappear. Okay, uh, I find a lot of Librans suffer a lot of trauma in their younger age. Uh, if this does, if that doesn't resonate for you, then don't make the story fit. But um, I find a lot of Librans do suffer a lot of trauma in their early age. And they carry that trauma with them because a lot of you don't, don't go and seek help uh, for that situation. And you, you carry that trauma into your relationships, okay? Um, and you suffer a lot from anxiety. But when Libra decides to change their mindset and starts focusing um, on themselves to to do better okay and um, become stronger um, you'll find that uh, Libra will stand in their power okay now there is a lot of single Librans out there especially at an older age 50 upwards a lot of single Librans out there, okay? They don't want the partnership anymore. They're over the bedroom. They're happy to be on their own, free to do whatever they want. You know, maybe that's a little bit of a Scorpio that's in in them at that, that you know, area in their life. But um, Librans are more extreme. So Libra, you know, you tend to be a loner. Uh, you like sleeping, you don't like routine, um, you know, your day doesn't start till one o'clock in the afternoon, okay, everybody's already up and running and, um, you know, doing their thing and, and you're just getting up at one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, because there's nothing to get up for, okay, uh, unless you're working, that's the only reason why you'll get up. But otherwise, um, uh, you're in no rush to go anywhere. All right. Um, Librans can be a little bit selfish, okay? Um, well, everybody's a little bit selfish, but I'm talking about a, a, a trait here. So Librans can be a little bit selfish um, towards themselves, okay? Um, they're very giving uh, people, but... Uh, they will spend on themselves. Did that make sense? Maybe I said it the wrong way around. Librans like to spend on themselves. They'll go get their nails done. They'll go get their hair done. They'll buy good quality makeup. You know, they don't like the cheap stuff that's out there. That's that's rubbish. Okay. They'll always have their hair done nicely, um, and. Um, You'll find that um, as, you, as you get older, Libra, um, you, you might still have these qualities in you, but you'll just throw your hair up and, yeah, that's it. Don't worry about the rest. Let's just throw, put a brush through it, tie it up. Nobody will, nobody will notice. It, it's almost like, who gives a fuck? So, and that's, that's how your attitude is as you, as you get older, that you don't give a shit about anybody, you know. Your excuse is, I'm old and I can get away with it. So, um, yeah, Libra, you have a lot of good qualities out there, but um, one of the things you need to get over is your singlehood, okay. Now, you do feel lonely from time to time, but you prefer to be single, Libra. You do prefer to be single, okay? Um, yeah, Librans tend to be, uh, the male versions are very um, workaholics because they like they like to provide for their partner, um, you know. 
they don't like to see their partner um, suffering in any way. You're very nurturing, Libra. Um, your um, your intuition too is is very high, um, and your intuition comes from the trauma that you suffered in your childhood or whatever time in your life. But you know that's where your intuition comes from um, from from having that hurt, but. Um, Librans uh, are very, um, very caring people and, um, you know, they don't like to be used though in, in certain areas, you know, but, you know, Librans, you can, you can burn your friendships too, okay, because when uh, a Libra is overactive, okay, um, and this also comes from part of your trauma, okay, um, that you want to, uh, you have these friends, but you overuse one person, okay? You overuse them, and then they, they try and find a way to distance themselves from you just so they can have a break, okay? But um, you don't mean to do that, Libra. It's not your intention. It's because you enjoy being with that person. But sometimes you over overuse that person, okay? So people tend to withdraw a little bit uh, from you because you, you're so in a I don't give a shit mode that it can be embarrassing for people sometimes, okay? So they, they withdraw a little bit from you, uh, but they come back to you. They come back to you sometime in life. You know, if, if somebody um, has an argument with you, Libra, then guarantee that they're not coming back into your life okay so Libra you um, you love your family Libra um, without them you don't know who you are so your family is very important for you and you you love being a part of that you love being a part of family and uh, your children especially, you know, um, but you've got to let go of the controlling nature when it comes to your family, Libra, okay? Um, you've got to allow them to grow. You've got to allow them to, to see their own journey. You can only be there to advise them, Libra. Um, you know, not everything uh, needs to be in your control. So you've got to give up the control, okay? You've got to allow your children to, to have a life. Otherwise, your children will leave home as soon as they can. As soon as they can, they will leave home. But uh, otherwise, it's not that they don't love you. They love you heaps because uh, lucky are those that have a, a liberal mother, you know? So um, because that, that mother's going to love you to death. Um, but... Um, Libra, yeah, you you got to give up your control sometimes, okay? So Libra, uh, what else can I tell you? You're very loving. You're very fun to be around, okay? Uh, people can only take you in small doses, so thus explains why <clears throat> you can be on your own for long periods of time and you can be clingy to people because you don't want to be left alone. So, you know, it's it's a balance of the scale for you, Libra. Your scales have to be balanced, okay? If your scales are tipped, well, I don't want to be in your way, okay? <laughs> so, Libra, always stay balanced. You need to always stay balanced. You need to always meditate and um, um, try not to be in a job where it's so stressful. Um yeah, because it um, it can do your head in. But Libra, um, you are the most giving person um, that I that I know. I have a few Librans in my life, and they're all very very giving, and they're all very funny people, and um, you know they they're the kind of friendships that um, uh, you do want to keep in your life. But um, you have to learn to balance friendship with with Librans otherwise um, it, it becomes too much okay 
Um, but if you know how to balance your friendship with Libra, then you have you have a beautiful friendship. You have a beautiful friendship. You have a trustworthy person and somebody who will always have your back. Okay. And um, Libra, um, you look after yourself. And thanks for listening. And if you like to watch videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. And um, let me know in the comments if you want to see some more videos on, on Libra. But that's our chat, Libra. And uh, you have a good night and we'll talk again soon. Bye.